Hello, and welcome back to the Dark Mod. We're at Lord Duffer's. Let's go back to the uh, backyard and look around. We found the Lord that we were looking for, but I guess we don't know how he died. That's going to be a problem. Also, this looks like it goes straight to the sewer? Question mark? That's so odd. Yeah, I wanted to, before we do anything else, see if I can get over there. This is like a huge frickin' pool. But yeah, he was down there in the middle. It was very odd. So obviously, murder was done here. Uh, no, nothing up here. I wanted to double check. We can't go in there, but there is a plaque underneath those stairs. I don't know if that means anything. Boop, boop. All right, I mean, all we can do is go into the manor proper. That's enough of the water. What, what are we graining here? Yeah, they're moving everything out of here. So it is very, very, very empty. There's got to be enough for me to steal, though. Stairwell, something underneath the stairs, perhaps? Ugh, I was so, so disappointed. There should always be something underneath the stairs. Just for me. Ooh, fancy. This place is cavernous. Simply cavernous. Yeah, see all the, the chairs grouped together? Yeah, they're they're moving everything out of here. It's an actual throne here. Hello? Oh, hi. Um Can I get up there? Well, um, I guess we'll let him come down here to us. Hi, uh, hello, can I please pick this up? Yeah, that doesn't do much. Okay, he's broken. I'm gonna reload. <laughs> yeah, it is absolutely cavernous. All right, no reason to be in here. Focus on the first floor for now. Wait, did I come over here? The helps lives here? No, to the housekeeper. The housekeeper, there we go. Am off to Lord Knuckles' estate for the rest of the week for a spot of Belcher hunting in Quickton Caves. So get everything prepared for the weekend bash, then sack all the staff afterwards, including the two guards, Bentley, the sot, and the other one that hangs around the place. The one with the foreign name, uh, Private Jones. Yeah, that's the one. Sack him as well. Jones is a, is a, is a foreign sounding name? Okay. Why would the housekeeper be in charge of all that? That's very odd. Bentley, I understand. He drinks all the wine. So I don't know if they already had the party or what the hell? That's gross. Some people would say that's nice. What the hell? Health potion up there or something? Note to the kitchen staff. After the coming banquet this Saturday, you're all sacked. I've spent what's left of the money on a large banquet for me and my drinking pals. Wow, seriously? Why would they even bother finishing then? I guess that's the only way they'll get paid. Uh, apple. 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 Heels barely anything, but apple. 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 Oh, I still didn't get healed all the way. Hmm. Oh, <gasps> bread! Here we go. Um, I guess I got healed all the way. Never mind. Why, oh, it's cheese. I thought it was a plate or something. I wouldn't mind some cheese right about now. This is so odd. 
Those nice muffins you got there. Guess I'll steal all the people that are getting sacked stuff. Maybe it's stuff they left behind. Because they're definitely not sleeping here tonight. Uh, kitchen staff sleeps here, I guess. Squirreling away food, are we? I, I guess so. Why would the gardener, again assuming, get the best house out back? And then the housekeeping and kitchen staff get basically barracks. What do we got? Ah, my first freaking loot. Only took two episodes to get to it. I am now satiated. Won't last for long. I need more. I need one, two, three, four in loot. Because reasons. I'll take your hat and I'll wear it. Don't think I won't. Um, guards? Guess that note over there will probably tell us. Oops. What do we got? A bowl or... No, I'm just trying to move the damn bowl! Nothing in the bowl. Okay. Gardeners. Wait, what? Then whose house is that in the back? You're all sacked. There's no money left to pay you. And tell the very thin gardener he's also sacked. Although I suspect he's dead, as I've never actually seen him. What? Alright, so we're back where we started before. Ooh. <gasps> Mushrooms. No, it's not a mushroom. Never mind. Dang! That's normal, right? Why is this so deep? Odd. <gasps> Bread. That's okay. I don't want it right now. Hmm. Pew. Why is this bust backwards? That's why. Okay. Make that any more obvious? All right, well, we've got this section. Oh, I really want to go down there. Also goes up. Mm -hmm. But we need to focus on this floor. Can't get distracted. All right, can we go this way some more? Oh, yes, we can. Fancy. Some odd pools. Some different ways up as well. This place is so big, I'm just gonna start leaving doors open so I know where I've gone. Well, where doth this lead? That was a complicated fucking log. Let's try that again. And? There we go. Alright, we've been here before as well. This is another kitchen? Why would we have separate kitchens? Hmm. Shall we get up to the other floor probably through there, if I can fit through? Are you... No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course! Of course. Why not? There we go. Ooh, more cavernousness. Pagan Folklore by Zach McCleckley. I, I can get some bread if I go burn that. Ooh. Coming back this way, buddy. All right. 
King Ergon's vacant chair. Okay. Ooh, storage. Fancy. Uh, hello, can you pick that up, please? Thank you. Something behind here. Jenga! Damn it. Bad at this game. Can you go to the top of any of these? Why do we have so many boxes? Please don't tell me there's like a box stacking thing in this this mission. Okay. No, not gonna do it. Nope, 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 nope. Hello? Is we stuck again? Doesn't look like it. But I wouldn't be surprised. Ooh, I'm gonna take those. Wonder if the clock's worth anything. I am surprised I fit up here. I haven't been eating much, have I? Hmm, nothing. Run in the middle! I think it's just gonna be the, um, God, this is so cavernous. Uh, the dining room on the other side? Mm -hmm. I actually can't get through there. What the fuck? What the fuck? But here I can. I'm going to be disappointed, aren't I? Mary shoot him. There we go. Ooh, I am not disappointed. Which is the entryway. Must be upstairs. The foyer, as some people call it. The foyer. How you guys doing out there? Doing a good job? Keep up the good work. Oh, by the way, you've been sacked. Just so you know. I know it's a foyer, by the way. I am not that much of a heathen. But people seem to get pissed off when you say foyer, so why not, right? When in Rome, piss people off. The music room. Any expensive flutes left up here? A cello? And that's where I can't get through. Hmm. Um, should save. Thank you. Camera's up there? New. Kitchen, and for the other one's the kitchen. Okay. So if that's the case, is it locked or what? There we go. Ooh, wait, what about this? Ah! Nothing underneath the stairs. Not even wood, it's just carpet. That can't be safe. Hmm. The boiler room is right in the middle. How odd. This is strange, right? Very, very strange. Alright, well, second level it is then, isn't it? So odd. Everything is so empty. Hmm. Is this literally just going to go all the way around? I wonder if there's something in the rafters. Yeah, might as well try, right? Yep. Oh, what's this? Hello? Another plaque-like thing. What if they open somewhere else? Uh-oh. We need to get this rope out of here, otherwise he'll freak out, because he's going to walk right through it. 
Ow. Now we can smack him, though. Twist my ankle, sir. Can you help me? Also, I need your key. Thank you. Seriously? There you are. Oh. Let's try this again. Now that we know there's nothing up there. To see what's on the other side, because there might actually be something in the middle on this side. Hi. I'll take that, thank you. Um, actually, I'm just gonna throw you on your face if you don't mind. What's behind the door? Hmm. I need a place to store you for future use. More mushrooms. Beds. Let's store you in here. Somebody has an obsession with mushrooms. Damn it. Why does everything gotta be locked? Come on. Ooh, a rope arrow. I'm not gonna say no to more rope arrows. I would never do such a thing. Again, not a heathen. At least you can't prove it. Noisemakers! Why would they need noisemaker? The rope barrel I can see, but noisemakers? A noise? Lord Duffert and my mother, Evelyn Bach, have gone on a long trip to Bridgeport and has left me in charge. Uh-huh, you killed daddy, didn't you? 22 6. Bentley snores at night. I can hear him from here, and he's in the officer's room at the other end of the building. The whole room shakes. Feels like an earthquake. 23-6. Chaz has told us that Lord Duffert has gone on a long trip to Bridgeport and won't be seen for several months. 12-9. Chad told us this morning that he's got word from Bridgeport City Council that Lord Duffert has been accidentally killed by one of their steam beasts. He also told us that the water tank at the back of the castle was out of bounds due to the polluted water seeping in from the old walled-up section of the city. Yeah, I wonder why. 14-9. Lord Chaz has, as we're supposed to call him now, read out Lord Dufford's will this morning. Chaz has got the lot. Bendley complained that Lord Dufford had promised him the contents of the wine cellar if he ever died. Lord Chaz told Bentley to stop complaining, else he'll be inspecting the contents of his sack. 28-9. Bentley has pit pinched all the best wines from the cellar. That makes sense. I couldn't find any. And placed them in his chest. Bentley says if Lord Chaz gives me the give me my sack. What? The contents I'll be inspecting will be the contents of my chest. Anyway, Lord Chaz doesn't like wine, so he won't notice they've gone missing. The only person who will notice is the housekeeper, and she doesn't like Lord Chaz either. 610. Taff, I've lost my taffing whistle. I know, I'll tell Ziggy. He can find anything you've lost, even stuff you think you haven't taffing lost. 910. Caught Ziggy, the sewer boy, smoking some foul-smelling stuff in the old Belcher stables. Sitting in the hay, smoking a lighted brand. What an idiot. He goes, yo, blood, how's it hanging? Oh, dear God. What is he talking about? There's nothing hanging off of me. Told him Lord Chaz was in the banqueting hall and that he should go see him as soon as possible. And Ziggy goes, ragamon, and leaves. Wow. Can't believe that they used to race belchers around the Sorcerer's Tower. One of the barons redirected the water around the tower so that they could, so that he could fill in the river and had a race course built on it. Apparently, it was a big thing. Annual races every month. How do you have an annual race every month when annual means every year? 
right, or am I missing something? Lord Dufford raced there, hence the stables. Lord Rodney also raced there. Rumor has it Lord Rodney still keeps descendants of the racing belchers in his cellar as weird god dogs. They've stopped doing it now. Apparently the Baron who made the race course got accidentally dissolved by an overly excited belcher at the, yield t the Yule Tide meet. The next Baron the city voted in banned belcher racing, so that was the end of that. 1010. It's the annual belcher hunt in Quintock Caves at the end of the week. Lord Chaz was packing this morning to go and stay at Lord Knuckles in readiness. I hear Zach McCleckley, the famed tomb looter and monster slayer, was going this year as well. I hope he likes rain. Always rains in Quintock. Never stops. Odd that. Lord Chaz has hired some more guards just for this week. Doesn't want his banquet at the weekend ruined by external forces, as he calls them. Was putting them through the paces this morning, telling them where to patrol, telling them to stay out of the wine cellar, else Bentley might mistake them for a bad person and run them through with his sword. Not to smoke under the big tree in the kitchen garden, to ignore Ziggy when he wanders through the place. Lord Chaz has given Ziggy permission to wander through this place whenever he wants. It's nothing worth nicking anyway, apart from wine and Bentley's got that covered. 1110. Housekeeper's left, says Chaz is sacking us after the weekend banquet. Doesn't bother me. Got a side job in a builder choir down at the Twin Chapel. Pays well. Plus it's warm. And I always eat the king's butt in the King's Bottom Inn. Food in there is great. Although the meat pies are not as good as the ones the cook makes. Bentley will probably get work get work in the King's Bottom Inn guarding their wine and beer cellars. The cloak that owns the inn is Bentley's brother. I wonder if he likes the beer and the wine so much. All right. One of these chests should have a whole bunch of wine in it. Be a shame if it went missing. All right. Another place that they wanted us to stay out of was the um, basement. So we'll definitely go down there. Especially since I have a secret way down. Dear God, man. It's a lot of different types of arrows. Even a moss. I want it. It's mine. No, give it to me. There we go. Hmm. Seriously? Okay. Glad I did that. No, open it. There's a diamond in there. Right? It's right there. There's a diamond. There's a diamond! It, there it is. Well, it's not a diamond, but it costs money. That's all I know. Why is... Is that his pet rock? Bentley? Oh, Bentley! Is this your chest? There we go. And in here we have wine. Come on, this one's really locked. This has got to be it, right? Damn it. Oh my god! I'm going to kill somebody. What? Does Bentley have his own room? Hmm. Well, there ain't nothing here. The mushrooms worth anything? Why are there little spikes there? Yeah. The mushrooms aren't worth anything. Ooh, I like the texture on the walls. Very marble chic. It's like separate baths for everyone? I think they'd just be showers. Ooh. Think you can hide from me? Nice. Wait, what? Is that a self closing door or something? It's odd. None of the other doors have been self closing. All right, well, we know where this is. Open it up, dummy. Gotta keep track of everything. 
And then, of course, the shutters. Did anybody leave anything? Just straight down into the sewers. Guess that makes sense. All right. This is odd. This is above the mill room. The funk? Yeah. Lord Chaz, please sign the document that signed the access of the spire of shooting stars to the builders only, and I'll null the document reverting access to you, very displeased, Baron de Plank. Lord Chaz, I need you to approach the district's lord and ask them to grant my inventors access to the spire in the districts. Baron de Plank. Lord Chaz, according to my records, the spire of the Shooting Stars Tower over the whole of the districts original owned by your uncle, Lord Duffet IV. As I made sure that you were the only eligible descendant of the Lord Dufford family to survive to do my duties, I request that you allow access to the spire to my inventors, Baron de Plank. Ah, so that's why Chaz is doing what he's doing. Oh, there's one right here. I can see it. Lord Chaz, the district lords deign access to the spire of the shining light and the spire of the flaming sun. As for the spire of the dripping darkness that's in the district of Lord Silfingers, and no one's seen him for years, and the only way to his place is through the Misty Park area. Good luck with that. <laughs> And according to old Lord Duffet, he turned protection of the spire of the shooting stars over to the builders, as that spire now sits within the land they rent off the Duffet estate, Lord Rodney. Hmm, a lot of land. Land grabs, uh, I guess. What's that? Ooh. Lord Duffet returned early from Bridgeport without my mother. He said he had gone to see the wood lord with some pagan priestess Galbox, or was it Galbalax? What a load of toss. I blacked out from the lies. When I came around, Lord Duffet was laying dead in the grass. His head crushed flat and his brain squirted out all over the grass, with crows pecking away at it. Stuffed the corpse in the water tank behind the castle. Yeah, I found it. Head looks fine, by the way. That's gross. I've told the others that I've gotten word from Bridgeport that Lord Duffert and my mother were killed in some type of accident. I don't know why I said accident like that. I reckon Lord Duffert killed my mother due to the fact that I caught him sneaking into the castle via the wine entrance and not the main entrance. A strange mushroom ring is growing where Lord Duffert died. I've told the others that the water tank behind the castle is out of bounds. Until I can find a better place to stick Lord Dufford's corpse, the sewer's not a good idea. Ziggy will find it, could feed the corpse to a belcher, but how do I get it across the city to Quintox Caves? I mean, thank you for confessing all your crimes, sir. Rumor goes that Lord Rodney keeps belchers as pets in his cellar. Is he nuts? That man's nuts! Anything in here? Nope. Hmm. Bills, bills, bills. How come builders only pay one gold per year's rent? They rent a hell of a lot of land off the Duffet estate and one gold coin. They must be rolling in the stuff, stingy gits. I'll hire a thief and get them to nab some stuff off the builders. Now where does one find a thief? Ziggy. I'll get Ziggy to hire a thief. Ziggy never talked to me. Duffer the Dead had loads of cash. So where is it? Heard talk from my mother before she died that Duffer had secret chambers hidden beneath the castle. Duffer used to talk about the hidden stuff with, when my mother was a child. Here in this castle, that must have been Duffer's father. Although from the way my mother talked, it sounded like it was the last Duffer. That can't be right. No one lives that long. I mean, they are trying pagan magic. Found an idiot on the street, calls himself Ziggy, claims he can get any information I need. Claims he knows everybody, including King Ergo. Lives somewhere in the sewers below the castle. Sewers. Wonder if there's a way down there into the Dufford's secret chambers. Useless 
Thief, what the hell am I going to do with a sack full of loaves, nuts, and bolts? Ziggy's out of it. Been smoking pagan stuff again. Inventors Guild, they need nuts and bolts. Sold the sack to the Inventors Guild for a hundred gold coins. Should have enough to buy them mushroom seeds. And now you've gone to selling drugs. Dear God, what is wrong with you, th son? Oh. What the hell? Okay. Mm -hmm. First clue. Okay. So, Chaz, here's the first clue to my treasure, although I hope you never find it and die in debit prison, just like your stupid mushroom seller of a father did. Roses are blue, violets are red, you're just too stupid to find the next clue. What? Okay, aren't violets violet, by the way? <laughs> what the hell? There we go. This is the last will and testament of Lord Duffert. I'll leave all my worldly possessions to my nephew Chaz. Fungi. De Plank. I guess he notarized it. Mm. De Plank may very well be in on it. We know he is. Do I know? I resign. Get your own banquet ready. I've been offered work at Lord Ribald's estate, and I'm taking it. I'm also taking the kitchen staff with me, so cook your own food for the banquet. That, if you know where the tinder and flint is kept, the ex-housekeeper. You go, girl. I don't damn, I don't damn blame you. Blood ragamon, diss all the thieves down at Misty Park, sure be an odd lot. Not only won't they deal with us, the one with the necklace of what looked like rotten fingers told me I best be go, else the last thing my eyes be seeing would be a shovel of some dirt. Bro Ziggy. So weird. Looks from Ziggy's notes that he's been smoking that ganja weed the pagans use in their rituals. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Sent Ziggy to see the district's lord to get their cooperation in shutting off the spire in their district. Baron de Plank wants access to the king's castle and can't get past the light barrier placed in position 300 years ago to keep the deep darkness within. Maybe they did that for a reason? Your blood. My man be telling me, man, you do be losing respect from the other lords. I be telling them blood you this my lord and you will be waking up dead yo ragaman your bro ziggy god this is so weirdly written but okay i didn't think a rastafarian would be in this um this setting but okay nothing wrong with that it's just weird and very out of place But it is what it is, what it is, what it is. Your paintings to steal? Yeah. Okay. Well, with that Rastafarian um, butchering of of Rastafarian um, say words, accent is what I meant. That's the word that I couldn't think of because I'm dumb. <laughs> Dear Gord. Dear Gord. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed my nonsense. If you did, a like comment, subscribing, and ringing that bell icon would be greatly appreciated. This has been Boylag, signing off. Oh god! Uh. Close the damn door, please! Oh god, it scared the crap out of me! I wasn't expecting that! Come in! I mean, don't come in.